Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. Psalm 23. Psalm 23 starts out nicely enough. Green pastures, still waters, God leads, we follow. It paints a lovely image of an ideal tour. We pause and look to the far off horizons, shifting our gaze from the pastoral scenes to what seems to loom ahead. What is that far off? Menacing clouds appear. Shadows of darkness seem to be gathering up ahead. What is happening? Where are we going? The psalmist uses wording that speaks to what will come beyond this placid retreat, something beyond the sunny, grassy, verdant river banks for which we long, to a dark valley filled with threats, threats to our world, to our peace. These are the stretches of life where more than hesitancy fills the soul. Dread, angst, panic. Who wants to walk any further? We stand stock still. What of our health? The planets, our countries, our worlds. Is there any possibility of a journey through life on paths with no dread, division, war, sickness, and death. Once my three-year-old son whispered, there are things that are disturbing my peace. What are they, I asked. War, bombs, beheadings. His little soul was disturbed hearing the news on a visit to Grandma's. The psalmist introduces the language of and scenes of darkness because it is in the world, in our shared world, even in us. The psalmist speaks to the truth but proclaims that they will fear no evil. It is a statement of faith. It will not be animal instincts fight, flight, and paralysis to which they surrender, but rather to a leader who is not driven by them, the same one with the intent to walk with us as leader, protecting and providing. You need not panic when scenic tours transfigure into shadow-filled treks. Jesus said, Lo, I am with you always. A faithful shepherd does not leave his flock, and you, my friend, are encircled in his flock and with his loving care. Walk on. Jesus will not leave your side. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Psalm 23.